everyone. My name is Ronnie Monroe, and I'm the lead singer of Metal Church. I'm here to tell you a little bit about my new solo release, The Fire Within, being released on Rat Pack Records and also through Century Media Distribution. There's 12 blistering tracks on this that I'm all very, very proud of. And I just want to tell you a little bit about each song, you know, give you partial meanings and whatnot behind them. The first track is called Far. Basically what this song is about is people's need to find something to believe in. Something good. So, I hope you enjoy it. Here it is, Far. Track number two is called, What You Choose to Call Hell, I Call Home. I was standing outside a concert and uh, there were some people there with uh, megaphones and whatnot and their signs and they were preaching saying that we were all going to hell because we listened to heavy metal music. I figure if, uh, if metal music comes from hell, then that's my home. Here it is, What You Choose to Call Hell, I Call Home. The next track is called Deafening Hypocrisy, and uh, my good friend Tony Nichols from Malaya Rage uh, co-wrote this with me. And basically this is my take on government and all the lies and all the crap that goes on behind the scenes. And also I think this is the first heavy metal song to ever uh, reference Mr. Magoo. So here you go, Deafening Hypocrisy. This next track is called Rebuild the Ruins, and this was written uh, by Rick Van Zandt and myself. I really like this song, and basically this one talks about, uh, well, war, our need for it, and the rebuilding process. Here you go, Rebuild the Ruins. Rebuild the Ruins This next track is called Delirium. Very plain and simple, this is just written about a crazy person, I think we all know some of those, trying to take over the world and, uh, and living with his uh, insanity. Here we go, Delirium. This next track is called Demon Opera. Ooh, very metal. Scary. That's one of my favorites. This one is written about uh, past sins that we've all committed in our lives and whatnot, and, uh, and laying them to rest and having a new beginning. Demon Opera. This next track here is uh, also a special one to me. It's called Sea of Souls, written with Tony Nichols of Malaya Rage and myself. And uh, Michael Wilton of Queensryche was uh, gracious enough to do the solo on this song. I was really happy about that. The meaning behind this one is saying goodbye to past relationships and welcoming new ones. Across the Sea of Souls. This next track coming up is very personal to me. Um, it's really one of the first riffs I ever wrote on guitar. Uh, this one is about sacrifice. What myself and, and all musicians go through when they're on the road and in everything that comes with doing what we do. That's what, man. Hope you like it. I try to understand. This next track, uh, another blistering metal track, 
is uh, co-written with Rick Van Zandt. It's called Ivory Towers. This is a song about uh, society's need for some kind of religion and or something to follow. Be a leader, not a follower. This song here is very special to me. This is called Evil Genius. It was written by Rick Van Zant and myself uh, back in the Rottweiler days. That was a band that Rick and I were in for a short amount of time. And this one is basically just a uh, pure straight ahead power metal song um, that I really like. And it's written about uh, underhanded people. Remember, no matter how underhanded you are, we're always going to find you out. Evil Genius. This next song is called Right, and this basically is a straight ahead rocker, man. I, uh, I really like this song because it is just rock. And uh, the solo on this one was done by Randy Cooper, who's in a band from Texas called the Texas Hippie Coalition. This song is basically a metaphor, so uh, you know, I'm going to let you choose what you think it's about. It's called Ride Me, and I hope you enjoy it. We've come to the final track on the CD, and uh, this is a classic. It's Man of the Silver Mountain by Rainbow, and there's a you know pretty special meaning behind it. I'm not going to get into that whole thing. If you really want to know, you can do some research. I always wanted to do this song and pay tribute to uh, Dio and Blackmore, so this is my take on it. I hope you like it. Man of the Silver Mountain. Don't 